Welcome to the USS Nautilus here in Groton, Connecticut. Uh, the US Nautilus was christened here in 1954 by Mamie Eisenhower, and I'm going to tour you around. Right now we are looking at the torpedo room. I'm going to pivot around and show you some of the torpedoes back in this direction. And as I pivot around to the other direction, I'm going to show you what some of the sleeping quarters look like. And you can see how tight it was. We are now on the first lower level of the submarine. And uh, this will give you an idea of what some of the bunk beds look like. So of course, quarters are very tight inside a submarine, as you can imagine. So we're gonna be descending right now um, a short flight of steps. Um, as I do that, I'm also gonna pause it and show you where we have one of the laboratories right here. Um, and so we can see the sink right here. Of course, everything is very compact inside a submarine. And so we're gonna continue up these steps. Everything is very carefully designed. And uh, we're going up a short flight of stairs. We are now going to proceed going through this opening. So we are going to be taking a step up through this doorway. And we are proceeding here to um, see some other toilet areas. Again, notice how tight and compact everything is. Okay, we are now coming to one of the dining areas. On the wall of the dining area, there's also controls, um, so everything can be monitored while we're on the submarine. And I will pause here and do a very slow walkthrough. This is a very incredible um, dining area. It's called a ward room, W-A-R-D room, a ward room. So very nicely set up here. And the notice, by the way, was actually built here in Groton, Connecticut. So we are going to continue through and we are now coming to some of the sleeping quarters. Uh, most of the sleeping quarters have two or three bunks except for the quarters that were used by the captain. So I'm going to show you those quarters next. Okay, this particular bunk area, as you can see, has three sleeping areas. I'm going to do a pan so you can see them. And uh, sitting there is actually a medical dictionary on uh, that pull-out desk. And I'm going to show you one or two other sleeping quarters. This one would sleep two people. There's actually a razor there on the counter. And I am now going to turn around and show you some little more elegant sleeping quarters. So this would have been the state room for the commanding officer who had his own private room. And uh, would be able to also slip in here, uh, get a little work done. We actually have a coffee cup there, which probably given the long hours and little sleep, the coffee would be quite well needed. So let's continue along on this tour as we move along. And we are now going to be going through this other narrow passageway. So I need to step through this. I'm holding on to a railing up above as I come through. And we are going to continue our tour of the Nautilus, going through and seeing some of the controls. So we are here in Groton, Connecticut, and of course anybody can come down here to Southeast Connecticut and tour the Nautilus. It's absolutely free. It's maintained by the government. So I encourage people to come here. There's also an outstanding museum uh, alongside of the Nautilus, which is right here on the river. This is the navigation center that we're looking at right here with all the equipment. And I'll pause here so you get a little a bit of time to take a look at the controls. And all these displays have these nice mannequins in here to make it more lifelike, as you can see. So this is an internal navigation system for the Nautilus. And I'm going to turn around. This is the, actually the attack center that we're looking at. And you can see the navigation maps in through there. And uh, you can s I'm going to pan up a little bit there so you can see a little bit further. What you're looking at there is a periscope to see above the water. So uh, let me continue along and show you a little bit more inside the Nautilus. 
you got an alarm that's going off as part of the display here. And so we will continue. Again, we are now on the first lower level of the Nautilus. This is the sonar room, which is why you're hearing that beeping. The sonar provides um, really what the eyes and cannot do, so your ears would need to do this on a summer rain because we're underwater and we can't obviously see above. So I'm going to continue along. Uh, this is one of the, this is called the ESM Bay Room, where a lot of electrical surveillance equipment is located, radars and so on. I am now descending to the lowest level of the Nautilus. Um, I will be walking down the staircase shortly. I'm just going to pause here for a minute and give you a chance to look a little much. You can see the tapes in through there and the tape threading path. And we are now going to descend a flight of stairs to the lowest level in the Nautilus. Again, anybody that happens to be in Southeast Connecticut, this is really a fantastic experience to get inside the Nautilus. Um, maintained by the government so that it's very um, easy to navigate around. I uh, am just walking down the staircase here. It's very steep. Um, most of the submarines before this point would have had ladders. They would not have had staircases, but we have staircases right here inside the Nautilus. So I'm going to show you what the staircase looks like. Here is the staircase. And I'm just going to pause here a minute. There's a few people here, and I'm just waiting for them to walk through. Okay, we are now descending to the lowest level of the Nautilus. And I'm going to show you the places where we have um, further operations of the Nautilus, and I'm going to pause in different spots here. So uh, well, here's the helmsman who would be operating the rudder. Here is the stern plainsman who would operate the stern. There you see him as a mannequin and the bow plainsman. So all three, this is again the control center that we're looking at. I'm going to try to kind of pan around here so you can see the control room. And we'll do a little bit of a pan. And I'll walk through it a little bit more so you can see a little bit more of the control center. And then we pan up that way. Okay, there's obviously other people in here touring, so you may hear some background sounds of other people in here while we're going through the Nautilus. Okay, let me continue with you. And uh, this is the radio room that we're looking at right now. Okay. And general announcing control yeah, no, panel, a very important part. And we are now going through this other narrow passageway. And we are coming to what's called the cruise mess. Okay. And so um, this is where a lot of work would get done in through here. Um, also food preparation that would, would occur in this area as well. So I'm going to do a walk through to this area. Uh, yeah. little, you can see they have masks on here for breathing. Those are emergency air breathing manifolds that would supply emergency breathing air to crew members during any kind of casualty that would affect the air pressure inside the submarine. Okay, uh, these are some of the damage control tool rolls that you're looking at right now. And um, I'm now going to show you the chief quarters. So the chief's quarters are in this room. There's a few people coming through behind me, so you are going to hear some background noise. But we'll continue along. There's a good number of people here today in touring. Uh, oh, look, we have uh, some soft serve ice cream here, ice cream machine, and uh, milk dispensers. And let's continue through. This is where the kitchen area is. And I'll, I'll pause here a little bit chef um, doing some preparation here. It's really great the way they have mannequins. It makes it more lifelike. And so uh, you are going to hear some kids coming through in the background. You're going to hear some guys. They're pretty excited to be here today. Uh, more food preparation area. Uh, this is, as you can see, the, this is the menu. It's a little hard to read right now. Here we are now going to be taking a look inside again for more food preparation inside the kitchen. 
okay and i'm gonna just pause here for a minute okay i'm going to let some people we have to wait me here parents. so go no, ahead parents. and uh okay so we're still near the kitchen area and we are going to now be uh, continuing through i'm going to take you upstairs uh so you can see the nautilus from the outside at the end of the store so um hold with me i'm going through this passageway right now Okay, some more bunk beds here. This is very tight quarters for sleeping. I don't know if you can see all the bunk beds in there. Okay, we're now going up another staircase. And we're actually going to be shortly exiting from the submarine. I just want to show you some more of the tight quarters here. And when I come up above, you're going to get to see the Nautilus from the outside. So I'm um, just pausing here before I walk up the staircase. Uh, and give you another little chance here to see some of the bunk beds. So we'll just wait here a minute. And uh, we'll be outside shortly as we leave uh, the Nautilus. Uh, again, a mannequin here sleeping in this bunk bed here. So uh, i going to kind of come up the staircase here. And we'll be outside shortly. Again, we are back at the torpedo room here, which is when you come to the office, the first room you would see is the torpedo room and the controls right down that way. So I'm just pausing here on the staircase as some people are exiting ahead of me, and uh, then I'm going to go up the staircase, and then I'll be able to show you uh, the office from the outside. So uh, we'll just pause here a minute. Okay, so uh, this is the ejection pump we're looking at. There's some, going to be some echoing here as we're leaving the inside of the submarine. And I'm going to uh, be showing you shortly the river and uh, the submarine from the outside. So we're now, as you can see, proceeding almost outside. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm now showing you the outside. We're up. up, 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 up. So I wanted to walk, I'm going to walk down this plank with you. Behind me is the museum. There's two museums actually there inside here where we are in Groton, the submarine base. We actually uh, have some Navy officers here doing a routine um, on the side here. Okay, so now we're outside looking at the Nautilus. A beautiful, beautiful day here. And uh, just want to walk up to uh, the front of the Nautilus and give you an idea of the length of the ship, of the submarine. Okay, I'm going to do a pan right here. Okay, as we're looking at the front, and a quick pan, and this is where you would enter to descend inside the submarine. So I'm just going to come down here very briefly. Uh, we are in Groton, and the other side that you're looking at is New London, Connecticut. So I do encourage people watching this video, if you happen to be in southeast Connecticut, is definitely make plans to come see the Nautilus and uh, go inside. There is a drill occurring right here. So, okay. So we should get a pretty good view of the Nautilus right here as I pause and uh, blend the, the broadcast here. Okay. So please come down here and visit the USS Nautilus, uh, christened here in uh, 1954 by Manny Eisenhower. Okay, the U.S. Navy is here doing um, a routine, so I'm going to close out the scope and uh, close out the broadcast for you, and thank you for visiting here with us at the USS Nautilus in Groton at the submarine base.